Everything is being hacked these days, but experts are now warning that even your sex toys are not safe anymore. Security re researchers from a security firm called Trend Micro recently shed light on how it's possible to hack someone's sex toys, Mark. Yeah. I'm not joking. We're talking about smart sex toys. Okay, not any old sex toys. Smart I didn't sex know there toys. Was smart sex toys. Oh yeah, they connect to the internet, like oh. like 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 smartphones, smart watches, smart Jesus. cars. What happened? Just like you know, good old slab of rubber. Well, you got to have something. I, I I've been out of the market. You know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So I don't know. All right. Well, well, why you've been away? Now now they have these uh, dildos that connect to your smartphones apparently, and you can you can like kind of like use it with other people, other people can control them and stuff. Okay, that's cool, but there's a consequence to all of this, right? That that opens the door for cyber attacks on your dildos. Oh, wait a second now. Yeah. We've got to protect our dildos yeah. against terrorism? Yeah, nothing is safe anymore. Okay. All right, so to demonstrate these vulnerabilities, security firm Trend Micro hacked into a web-connected vibrator at a what technology fair in Germany this week. Okay, well, first off, what? only in Germany do they bring dildos to technology fairs, but um, I have a quote from Raymond Jeans, who's the chief technology officer at Trend Micro. He said this, if I hack a vibrator, it's just fun, but if I can get to the back end, I can blackmail the manufacturer, well, not the back end you're thinking about. No, He's yeah, well, if you look at that picture, if you bring up that quote again, yeah, uh, if, can we bring up the picture that you used for that quote? Yeah, I mean, that one looks like it could get to the back end. Good point. So... Thanks for pointing that out, Mark. <laughs> but, anyways, what... <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying, man, is that there's two things that can go wrong here. Some of these, some of these sex toys have like webcams on them. It's like it's like crazy how how technology oh, is. I know. You know, so, I've been out of the, the market on this. I did not know this was happening. Okay, it's combine an interactive sex toy thing. Exactly. Combine like Skype with with your average sex toys, and this is what you're getting. You get like. You, your partner can take it, or if they're like on business and they go oh. away somewhere, and they're like controlling it, and you're like doing it at the same time. I don't know. I don't so, use this okay. stuff. Somebody could hack in there, and somebody else could theoretically be running the controls on your girl, <laughs> and you don't even know it. That's not the main concern. Okay. The main concern is uh, some of these have webcams too, right? Someone can look at the webcam, a, or B, they can shut off your device and they can do that on a mass scale. So let's say this company like pumps out, like you know, they sell like a million of these back end reaching dildos that we see here. And then they, they, they hack all into all of them and then they, they, they all stop working. And then the person says, okay, you give me a million dollars or I'm never gonna have these dildos work again. You know, we see we see all sorts of companies getting uh, their data breached all the time, cyber attacks happening, and then they blackmail and they demand money. So there's like the blackmail aspect, and then there's the spying aspect when I'm people sorry. are watching you. There's you know there's a, there's a problem in this country and in this society when we can't get off our phones long enough to jerk off. Get off your goddamn <laughs> phone while you're jerking off. My God, are you kidding me? You gotta be on your phone while you're jerking off. Fuck, this is happening. It is. Fuck. It is. This is an actual concern, and I, you know, we can joke about it all you want, Mark. But I think it plays into the fact that a lot of these new tech companies that are coming out just don't do their due diligence when it comes to the the safety and the protection of their of their consumers. It's it's like a much bigger deal to like p implement the proper security, and it's cheap, it's more expensive that way. So they just do it on the cheap. They put it out there, and then all of a sudden, someone's watching your wife. What if ISIS gets a hold of this? What well, potentially what could happen? I don't know. They, we could, we Shut off all the dildos in the country? We could be fucked. Yeah. Well, good point. Again, I didn't think about that either. But guys, apparently even your sex toys are not safe. ISIS might just get a hold of them.